Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Tom Toughness coming at you with another music reaction today. For the first time, we have someone new on the channel. Today, we are checking out Mr. Andrea Bocelli. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I've heard the name. I'm somewhat familiar with him. I don't really listen to a lot of opera music. Uh, it's just not something I really grew up to and listened to a lot. But I'm somewhat familiar with a little bit of it. Uh, but I know this name. I mean, he's if I if I hear the term opera, this is definitely one of the names that I think of because um, it, it, it's a very common <laughs> opera singer name um, as far as uh, celebrity status, I guess you would say, and just talent. Um, and I know he he collaborates on a lot of other songs um, throughout. Uh, but, yeah, we're here to check this one out, bring somebody new. And what better way to do it than one of my favorite favorite songs of all time hallelujah originally done by leonard cohen and uh jeff buckley his version incredible and i've heard various multiple uh covers of this song and 99 percent of the time they're absolutely amazing and they're all different in their own ways so i'd be really curious to hear what mr bocelli is going to do with it um that's why I'm so interested about this one specifically. Um, and I did a little bit of research about this guy, <laughs> some things I never knew. Um, apparently, when he was five months, he was diagnosed with congenital glaucoma. Um, so as an infant, to have that. And then apparently there was an incident. Uh, he had a football incident and went completely blind at the age of 12. Uh, man, I mean... Listen, the fact that, like, I got to give this guy so much respect without, like, knowing his music just for the fact of that alone to go through that type of upbringing and to be able to endure and push past that and just make something big out of yourself. Um, I love that. Uh, I I don't want to say it's the underdog story, but it's just the fact that he's able to overcome those massive obstacles and just he's a household name when you think of opera music. So um, I'm excited to see where this sounds going to take us, what he's going to do with it. Uh, if you're ready, I'm ready, but don't forget to smash that like button, like, and subscribe. That way I know that you guys enjoy this type of content. It's always appreciated. It helps the channel and also helps us uh, to continue finding incredible artists, singers, bands, musicians, whatever it may be, and keep them here on the channel. Thank you so much guys. And I appreciate uh, each and every one of you. So let's check this one out. Andrea Bacelli, hallelujah. Let's do it. But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Yeah, right out of the gate, real soft and easy, not like trying to go above and beyond because where the song usually goes, it gets a lot uh, stronger and a lot more emotional as the song goes on. I got to say, the video is absolutely incredible. Um, I don't know what you guys, I, I know I've ran into this with other uh, reactions with like the dancers, like the choreography, um, the type of dancing they're doing. It's really interesting. Uh, I, I, I love the the background, like the 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 cliffside along a huge lake or ocean, whatever it is. Um, it's really beautiful. And then, I mean, this thumbnail kind of captures the whole thing with, you know, Bocelli being down here. And then you have these incredible dancers, just an amazing view. You see, um, I mean, he's gotta be, I, I know he's, he's getting up there as far as age. I probably would guess 
late 50s, early 60s, and to still have that tone, that incredible uh, vocal capability is absolutely amazing to me. Um, but yeah, I, I'm curious to see uh, if he's going to elevate it um, and kind of throw it, because right now it's not really got that opera feeling so far. So I'm kind of curious if he's going to bring that in or not. Um, but either way, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. So let's keep going. Okay. Yeah, he does. <laughs> okay, here it is. God. Bellezza, incanto e nostalgia ferirono la mente mia che in lacrime gridava un alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wow, that's gorgeous. Now, I'm going to assume, because he's Italian, correct? And I assume he's he took that second verse and turned that Italian. That's the interesting thing about me. And I'm shocked that like I never really gave opera a chance until I started this channel. And uh, we haven't done a ton of it, but when it gets requested, I'm more than happy to do it and give my honest opinion on it. Because it is starting to grow on me, just like a lot of other genres that I never thought I'd really get into. Um but with him being Italian, I'm assuming that this, the video footage is in Italy. Uh, it kind of looks that way. Um, so, yeah, you guys will have to let me know if you know where this was filmed at. I just think it's absolutely incredible. It's definitely, Italy is one of those places that I would love to have the, the possible chance to ever go and obviously take my wife because I'm a good husband uh, and just go visit. I think it'd be a hell of a vacation and just incredible to go sightseeing. But it's definitely on my list uh, if it ever happens. But. Who knows? But so far, second verse starting to bring it up, raise the raise the bar a little higher. I uh, get to see he he gets to incorporate his style of music into it. So yeah, this is easily going to become one of my favorite uh, covers of this song. And I don't know if it'll become my favorite specifically, but it's definitely up there with the rest of them for sure. But beautiful, beautiful voice. Wow. <laughs> Santo nome tu dirò un nome che ormai non ho paura che risuoni dentro me di luce esplode la poesia come una sacra sinfonia che intona per I'm fighting. I'm fighting it. Um, damn. Saying how incredibly talented this man is is an understatement. I don't think there's good enough. Uh, I don't think I have a strong enough vocabulary to really hit his talent on the spot as far as um, describing what I'm hearing. Uh, I got to say, though, his version of this... Um, as far as from the start to where it's like slow, it's the buildup. His buildup of this song, uh, as far as on a emotional, even inspirational level, is better than any other version I've heard uh, cover-wise. It's, it's just a real nice 
slow, gradual pickup. It's not like, you know, like a shock and awe thing. Like, it's just you're totally feeling it. You're in the mood. And it's just kind of like a really nice uh, journey you're on while listening to it. And it's almost like he's just holding your hand and guiding you throughout. And, man, his voice is just absolutely amazing. My goodness. <laughs> okay. We got another verse. I know that. Let's do it. I did my best. It wasn't much. I couldn't feel. So I tried to touch. I told the truth. I didn't come to fool you. Wow. And even though it all went wrong, I'll stand before the Lord of Song with nothing on my tongue. Wow. Oh my goodness. I want to just kind of capture the thumbnail here. Um, I mean, look at that. Man, wherever he is at, I want to be. That is... That is so beautiful. Incredible video. Like I'm I'm not talking about the singing yet, but just the the cinematography of it, the dancing, the choreography, uh that ending was absolutely gorgeous. I I love like the like the color scheme like when they were when they were showing him in kind of like that walkway outside with the dancers um let me see where that was. Yeah, right in here. Uh, yeah, like right here. I thought that was really cool. Um, really nice color scheme there. But, man, his voice. I can't believe I didn't know he was blind. Like I said, I didn't know anything really about him other than he was an opera singer. But really, really pulls on your on your heartstrings a lot just to think about that. And I'm sure that's not, like, the effect that he wants to give off, like, you know, poor me. The guy made a name for himself and is literally one of the greatest of all time. Um, and I see why. It's it's not because he had a, a a disability. It's because he was born with this exceptional talent. So, I, wow. That one was probably one of the hardest songs I've ever reacted to and made it through. <laughs> it was tough. And, man... For that being one of my favorite songs of all time, he just absolutely slayed it for me. Wow. I need to end this video. <laughs> Damn. Um, anyways, guys, I'm Tom Toughness. I hope you enjoyed this and found the beauty in it the same way I did, if not even more. Just, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I want on our channel. This incredible uh, performance talent this is just this is top tier for me and it's opera i didn't think i didn't think i was gonna be like yeah it's opera whatever i'll listen to it but man i just appreciate the hell out of that what a person what an incredible human being uh, but anyways guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe on your way out and i hope to catch you at our next reaction my friends take care be safe and goodbye later